Um, we've got a reaction from my hero, from God. Is it? Is it Daddy? From my Daddy. Hi, Daddy, Mr. Rogan. <laughs> Mr. Rogan. <laughs> I love when old ladies come up to me at like an airport and tell me they love the podcast. Me too. It happens all the time. Do you know what? Do you know what I mean? I, I get just, it often. I know what you're feeling, Joe. I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> like old ladies. I had these old ladies. They were like in their 80s, man. You'd be surprised. I, I have white young white guys have a thing for me. Ah. <laughs> I wonder why. I don't Look know if they want a nanny or. <laughs> <laughs> when do I? When, when, it would be weird though. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not playing a race card here. Yeah. But it would be weird if we were on the show and I just started talking about how black women just kept on coming up to me by singling them out by race. Ah, but Joe. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Joe Star. He didn't uh, say black women. Did he not? He said old women. Oh, okay then. Yeah, you know you what did, I mean? Yeah, you know it's, just, right, yeah. it's just, it's just, it's but just weird. In all fairness, it is her, um, she's like a comedian and she and she's seems, black comedy. It so. seems to be very acceptable to say white men, white women. But it's not acceptable to say black men, black women. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, well, black pussy. <laughs> I don't know what. That's the, that was the first. <laughs> The perfect pause. <laughs> oh, black pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> both at the same time. They don't want my own shave on a regular, but okay. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. I can't get into this new bald head vagina shit, Joe. No, <laughs> no I can't got time for this shit. Really? I got a, I got a uh, garage on top of my vagina. I ain't got time to put that shit there once a week to catch no hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how the, go the pubic hair thing just yeah. vanished like these everybody's had pubic hair you watch yeah. the old porns well for all of history people had pubic hair but back in the day it made you look like you had a fat cat yeah. a fat, <laughs> <laughs> fat cat <laughs> a fat cat <laughs> <laughs> a fat <God>. cat. <laughs> you put your underwear on your thick down there. Right. Now you put your underwear on it sticking to the vagina. I'm like, where me and get it to bald head pussy? <laughs> it is weird because I I experienced it through high school. Yeah. Like when I was in high school, that's when porn fart first came out. When the when I was in high school, I remember very vividly. Going down to finger girls at college and school, and some, sometimes catching the pubes, oh. and then go oh oh, oh god sorry like, <laughs> like you pull a pull of hair out by accident. There's not much gap between the jeans and the vagina. No. So, so when you you're putting your hands, hands through, out. you're going to get some mesh. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're going to get some twigs and bushes. They thought that wrong. They didn't put a dress on. They did. <laughs> <laughs> Fingering in jeans compared to dresses. Isn't, it's not the same sport. But if the, it's not the same but sport. But even if the girl's got a belly with the jeans, you, yep. you're not getting down there. No. No, no, not at all. No, down no, 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 no. You've got a few layers to get through. You've got to move things around was the first time VHS. The struggles of fingering when you're a teenager is a nightmare. That should be a book. It's a real thing. Tapes came out. And so people could rent porn. Mm -hmm. And that's when the pubic hair thing changed. It changed first in porn and it changed in everybody else. Well, I think what the problem was is um, black, black women, we have such beautiful black afros down there. <laughs> so you couldn't get the whole vision. So some white man went down there and got uh, vagina hair stuck in his throat, which I call nappy grip. <laughs> <laughs> what did she call it? What did she call it? Oh, nappy grip. Nappy. His throat, which I call nappy grip. Nappy gripper. I don't know what she's saying. Throat, which I call nappy grip. <laughs> nappy gripper. Is that what she's saying? Google it, Google it. In his throat, which I call nappy gripping. <laughs> he thought the pussy was going to kill him, so it was a new room. Yeah, all pussy must be shaved. <laughs> Coughing up a hairball. <laughs> Can you imagine? Do you know, do you know what that is? I would have loved to be right with you. <laughs> <laughs> do you know the struggle it must have been real back in the day? It's a Robin Williams joke. Is it? Yeah, no. Not another Robin Williams one? No. Robin Williams said, is this what men look like? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty Can't much. do it justice. Pretty much. <laughs> Although sometimes they hold the eye a bit longer. <laughs> yeah, am I doing this right? Can you just give me some feedback? Yeah, That's just feedback, my thought, y'all. I don't know how true that is. Uh, I dated this girl in high school, and she was kind of wild. And uh, she was dating this guy, and uh, she broke up with the guy, and her and I hooked up, and she, she, she goes, I'm embarrassed, I can't. 
I can't let you see me. I go, why? She goes, he made me shave my pussy. And I just started laughing. It was the funniest <laughs> thing to me. When I was like 16 years old, it was hilarious that someone uh, was ashamed that they had a shaved pussy. <laughs> Uh, I only do it when you get caught in the side of my underwear. <laughs> I've been with the same man 31 years. He didn't give a fuck if mine fall off and be on my kneecap. Baby, did you cook today? Or have you order Uber Eats? Or what show you want to watch? <laughs> That's why I don't cheat. Mike, I keep like, if I haven't shaved my legs, <laughs> Mike's not going anywhere near me, right? And he's that's like, like the filter. Yeah. That's the filter. Yeah. These are your legs. I'll just give him the. Le- oh no, she's shaved. It's yeah. not on the no, table. No, it's not today. on the table. <laughs> if my legs are smooth, he's like, I'm in. I'm in. The same one I got, so I ain't got to get no new rules. No new problems. Uh, no new problems. Yeah, some people love problems. Some people do love problems. They I don't do. like problems. I'm not. No. I'm not a fan. I fucking hate problems. I just ask people to leave me the fuck alone, Joe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, let me be me. I, you know, people always say, well, "What do you think about the cancel culture?" I said, "Shit, um, American Express been canceled me." So. <laughs> 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 the rest of you motherfuckers don't matter. They don't lower my limit. So hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Oh, that's the end of that video. It, oh. it ended very abruptly. Oh. <laughs> Just a little clip from Rogan. Oh, oh it's quite good, wasn't it? I love Daddy. That no, was all right, but I love Daddy too. I love Daddy, and I, I just how old is Daddy? Fifty-five, I think. Wow. Hey Siri, how old is Daddy? Uh, I mean <laughs> Joe Rogan. The fact that we both call him Daddy is weird. <laughs> Come up with my contacts, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> At least I didn't call him. <laughs> <laughs> how old is Joe Rogan? Fifty-five. Wow! I passed. I passed the daddy test. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. He does not look fifty-five. He looks forty-two. He can't be my daddy. He looks he forty-two. You're the same age. No, between ten. Oh, 55. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> guys. We'll be back in a bit. See you on the next one.